Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we'll be washing and decontaminating the paint on this 2002 Jaguar XKR. This video is the first of a two-part series, and in our next video, we're going to be polishing the car and finishing it off with a very easy to use ceramic coating. I was blown away by how great this car turned out. So if you want to see for yourself, hit that subscribe button and turn on the notifications so you don't miss out on our next video. As we walk around the car, you can see that the paint is in really rough shape. There are swirls and scratches on almost every panel. Fortunately, we were able to get most of these out, and when we're done, this car is going to be looking new again. As always, any of the products or tools you see in this video will be linked in the description below. I'm not sponsored by any of these companies, but I do get a small commission if you choose to purchase a product through one of my links. As we get into the wash, I'm going to start by giving the convertible top a good cleaning. If you're doing this at home, I would avoid using a pressure washer so you don't accidentally damage the top. To help clean the top, I'm going to use 303's tonneau cover and convertible top cleaner. This product is reasonably priced and is safe for both cloth and vinyl tops. I ordered mine online, but if you want to give it a try, you should be able to find it at your local Advance Auto Parts. This product is really easy to use. After rinsing the top, just spray it on and use a brush to work it into the fabric. I like to use a soft bristle detail brush along the seams, and then I'll follow that up with a larger boar's hair brush to clean the bigger sections. After scrubbing the whole top, you're going to want to give it a thorough rinse. These tops hold on to a lot of products, so be patient while rinsing. You'll know you're done when you no longer see any more soapy white suds. Now that the top is clean, I'm going to move on to rinsing off the car. This is an important step in the wash because we want to be sure to remove any loose dirt from the surface that could scratch the car once we start using our wash mitt. After rinsing the car, I will usually move on to cleaning the wheels. I am going to skip that part for now though, since I just did a video showing my complete wheel cleaning process. If you want to check that video out, I'll leave a link in the description below. With the car rinsed off, I'm using my foam cannon to apply a layer of soapy foam to the car. The soap I'm using here is the Obsessed Garage Decontamination Soap. This soap has a higher pH than most soaps and is designed to remove waxes, oils, and other surface contaminants from the paint. After letting the foam sit on the paint for a couple minutes, I'm now going to follow it up with my wash mitt. For this part, I have two buckets set up off camera, one with soapy water for washing and another with just plain water for rinsing off my mitt. You'll notice here that I'm working in straight lines. After each panel or so, I'll flip over my mitt and use the other side. I'll then return to my buckets to rinse off the mitt and get some fresh soap.
After finishing with the hand wash, I'm going to rinse the car once again to remove any soap residue so we can continue with the decontamination. The next step in this process is chemical decontamination. In these clips, I'm using CarPro Iron X to help remove any bonded iron particles that may be embedded into the paint surface. As the iron remover reacts with the iron particles, it'll turn purple and run off the car. We won't be able to see it here since this car is a dark blue, but if you have a lighter colored vehicle, it should be really noticeable. As for how to use this product, it's pretty simple. Spray it on, let it sit for a minute or so, and then rinse it off. Just be careful to not let it dry on the paint. I should also add that this stuff smells awful. A lot of car care products have a really great scent, but this is definitely not one of them. So, if you're going to repeat this process at home, I would not suggest opening this bottle and putting it up to your nose. You will regret it. With the chemical decontamination done, we're going to move on to using some automotive grade clay to remove any bonded contaminants from the paint. There are different types of automotive clay out there, but I prefer to use the Nanoskin Auto Scrub Sponge. I'm also using some Optimum No Rinse diluted 256 to 1 in my Merrill X pump sprayer to lubricate the paint surface. For this step, you're going to want to spray the lubricant onto the paint. I also like to spray the sponge as well, and then work in small sections going back and forth over the paint. If you feel any roughness with the clay, keep working the area until it feels smooth. This is a process we're going to repeat over the entire car since we want to remove as many bonded contaminants as possible before we start the polishing. After finishing up with the clay, we're going to give the car one final rinse to remove any remaining residue. We're then going to dry the car off with a microfiber drying towel. There are a number of different towels out there and picking one has more to do with preference than anything else. If you're in the market for one, I would encourage you to go with a towel that uses a 70-30 blend of polyester and polyamide. A lot of the cheaper towels you'll find use an 80-20 blend and since they aren't as soft, there's a higher chance that you'll scratch the paint while you're drying the car. Now if you're just looking for a quick recommendation, the towel I'm about to be using is the Twist Loop Drying Towel from the Rag Company. I use these towels pretty regularly, so I keep a few of them on the shelf. If you want to pick one up yourself, I've gone ahead and added a link to these towels in the description below. And with that, that's a wrap for today's video. If you enjoyed this video, give us a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on the next video where we will be polishing the paint and applying a ceramic coating. This is Ryan with Allison Detailing. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you in the next video.